Hey there, Steve here. Today, we're gonna feature the GW01, a technology pack smartwatch that sells for under $100. Stick around, you won't wanna miss this. Before we jump into the review, I wanted to give you an update on the $25 subscriber gift card giveaway. As of this recording, we have reached more than 60 subscribers, and I wanted to say thanks to each of you for helping us get that much closer to our 100 subscriber goal. Remember, in order to qualify, you need to subscribe to that geek guy and leave a comment telling us what kind of technology you'd like to see featured on a future episode. If you haven't done so already, Pause this video and then jump over to the subscriber spot so you can leave a comment and subscribe. And then come on back so you can catch the rest of this great video. And now on to the review. Dick Tracy calling Hemlock Holmes, calling Hemlock Holmes. Growing up in the 70s and 80s, I witnessed a slew of semi-smart watches that conjured up images of Dick Tracy and his wrist communicator. First came calculators, and then video games. There were even attempts at video with the introduction of the Seiko T001 TV watch as featured in the James Bond movie, Octopussy. But as high tech as they seemed, they all failed in comparison to today's smartwatches. Contrary to popular belief, the iWatch was not the first smartwatch to enter the market. Nearly a decade earlier, Microsoft introduced the Spot which was considered revolutionary, smart, and sexy, at least for tech geeks at the time. But what Apple, and later Samsung did, was perfect the technology and create a competitive market which drove down prices for the components that went into them. Fast forward to 2016, and you'll find an assortment of smartwatches from top names like Pebble, Sony, and Garmin, as well as a number of third-party manufacturers like Ulephone. Who's that, you say? Ulephone is a smartphone OEM from China who manufactures high-quality, low-cost phones and accessories. One visit to their site, or a search for them on Google, and you'll be amazed at some of the products they offer, which brings us to the GW01. When it comes to technology, I'm not one to jump on the bandwagon, especially when it comes to first-generation products. Then one day I was surfing through a site called GearBest when I came across several attractive-looking smartwatches that were all on sale for around $50. For that price, I decided, well, if it turns out I don't like it, it's no great loss. So, I picked up the GW01. At present, the GW01 sells for $65.92 on GearBest, but at the time, I got it for just $54.99. Right off the bat, the GW01 is compatible with both Apple and Android. As a matter of fact, after owning this watch for only six months, I inevitably switched from an iPhone 5 to a Galaxy S7 Edge, and I'm still able to appreciate it. The GW01 comes in three color choices, Shine Silver, Luxury Gold, and Night Black. While the Luxury Gold is more of a bronze, it has a solid look to it that doesn't come off as cheap like some gold-colored watches do. The wristband is impressive. With crocodile embossing, the leather is soft, thick, and durable with an underside of New Zealand calfskin. The GW01 has a true round screen that measures 1.3 inches at 240 by 240 pixels. It comes with five preloaded clock faces with the capacity to download more. Storage is limited to 64 megabyte of RAM and 120 megabyte of ROM, but I haven't found any problem with that because almost all media and apps for it get stored on the phone that you pair it with. As with most digital watches, the GW01 has a calculator, stopwatch, alarm, and calendar. To compete with the big name smartwatches, it also has a suite of health tracking apps such as heart rate monitor, pedometer, sedentary reminder, and sleep monitor. It even has a health index on it that reminds you just how out of shape you are. 
US users will have to convert their statistics to metrics, but once you've entered your age, height, and weight, it will give you your BMI and body age as well. Although the Bluetooth capability allows you to make phone calls and play music through the watch, the sound quality is substandard, making those particular features more novelty than anything. Another g -Wiz factor is the remote camera function. While I wouldn't use this on a daily basis either, it is kind of neat. However, the only useful function I can see for this is as some sort of nanny cam to spy on someone in the next room. Battery life varies from a couple of days to as little as 8 hours if you have every feature and notification option enabled. So what's the final verdict? In a nutshell, the GW01 is a gorgeous digital watch with a few smart features. If you're on the fence about getting a smartwatch, then the GW01 is the way to go. For the price of a base level iWatch, you can get all three styles and still save a few bucks. Well, that about does it for this episode of The Geek Guy. Thanks for watching. Come back soon. Hey there, thanks for watching That Geek Guy. If you like what you just saw, give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Just click on the geek image in the circle. When you're done, check out more helpful videos like this one to the left. Catch you later.